Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. This is Watchman. Um, uh, Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on this Shabbat. On this, what's today's date, y'all? I think it's, it's the fifth. Fifth, show sure is. Fifth day <coughs> in February. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 2022, y'all. Two, two. Two, two. Yeah. Tanya, Tanya Stanley, how you doing? Good to see you on, young lady. Mother, mother, mother Katie. Hallelujah, who are good to see you on as um as well. And we got uh my beautiful uh, mother in the house as usual. Thank the most high for her. And um my beautiful mother in law, Mother Joy, she's here with us as well. Young faithful Barbara and Paquita. And Demina, my son, uh, Neil, good to see you on, son. Stay encouraged in him. Hallelujah. Stay encouraged in him. Hallelujah. Y'all feel free to um, push the share button if y'all if y'all want to. And also, uh, those of you that's willing to tag, y'all get your tag, you know, your tag going. I'm trying to let the Most High illuminate me. I need him to talk to me so I can teach. Um, okay, I remember now. So sure do. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's in James, isn't it? Yeah. We're in James. Let me remember. <clears throat> um, I know we're going to James this morning, y'all. James. Now I just got to remember um, where in James. Um, interesting. Somebody's coming in. I hear. I hear people They're coming in. Yep, mother. You right too. I hear them too. Is it possible to have a favorite book in the Bible? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people do. What's your favorite book? James. Let's go to James, y'all. One, ironically. James 1. This is Joel. James. J A M. It's almost like E S. Yeah, it's at the end. After Hebrews, actually. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, y'all. Shabbat Shalom. Oh. Um. Hello. Hey, hey. You always sharp, huh? Okay. Okay. First chapter, James 1. Okay. I'm probably going to start at 22. <laughs> Leslie Sutton, good to see you on. We're going to James 1 and 22. Hallelujah. Okay, let, let's pray, y'all. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you, homies. We know how we're in your presence, uh, I believe in you for a relevant word that would even cause us to enter into thy rest, not into a carnal rest, but we want to enter into, to, into thy rest. Uh, continue to, again, illuminate 
for your children. And we care for you to praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the match the name, Yahushua, will help me pray. Hallelujah. And the mom. Good to see you all, sis. Uh, I'll call Rita B. Love you. Good to see you all. Matt Yahoo Dolls, always a pleasure, my brother. Again, those of you that's willing, push the share button. Y'all get your tag on. That's the most high. Um, that's the most high uh, uh, leads you. We're in James 1, right? And 22. Look what this says, y'all. It says, uh, <clears throat> I don't need these glasses. The glasses, yeah. There you go. What would you say? But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> let's talk. Let's talk. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the Most High has been um. Dealing with me, dealing, dealing with his children, right? Concerning, like, you know, the true objective of having a relationship with him, right? What, what his mission really is, right? It's, it's incredibly important, right? And this, and the mission is, when it's accomplished, it's results oriented. The necessity of results from, you know, his goals for his children is imperative. It's not optional, like like you know, false doctrine would suggest. You know, like the the transformation process is a necessity. It is a necessity. Now, one thing we can say <clears throat> is the tools he used really will accomplish that, though. It really do. It be it, look look. We could have a legitimate gripe at the end, say, if the transformation process didn't transform us <clears throat> into what we must be. If there's any flaw in his methodology, then we would have something to accuse him of. <clears throat> but rest assured, right, his methodology and the tools he gave us to accomplish the transformation process is ironclad. Ironclad. And then he also, the tools he used, he grade on a curve. He grade on, he grade on perfection. But perfection looks different to him than it does to us. And I'm not talking about the Catholicized perfection. The religious perfection is tainted. It's not, that's not it. You know. Also, once saved, always saved. We all make mistakes. That's not the perfection he's looking for. No, it don't work like that. Even though there's some truth to that, but that's not it at all. The perfection that the Most High uses is you're responsible for what he told you to do. So to him to know to do good and do it, not to him to sin, right? You're responsible for what he revealed to you. And he reveals it to you through the Ruach, right? Through his, through his, through, 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 through his word. He gives you revelation of truth through your through through word. How you doing, beautiful? Good to see you. He give you revelation through the word, and you're responsible for that, right? Are you with me? 
But watch this. He give you the grace and the ability. He give you the grace and ability through the power of his ruah. Even though there's some more improving you need to do in your life. And areas that he has revealed to you yet. But he's not going to hold it against you. What's guarded, I want y'all to get this. Banks, good to see you all. What's guarded is your sincerity towards him. Your sincerity towards him. I, do, I love the analogy that he gave me to give, right? Same thing, I use it often, right? But a third grader isn't perfect in fourth grade work. He's a, if he's a, a student, he's, a, he's, a, he's perfected in third grade work. And he's a perfect third grader. There's more to learn in the fourth grade. But yet, as a third grader, he's perfect. You got to get that. That's, he, he deals with us so masterfully. To whereas he's raising you to walk in what he gave to you. And he's satisfied if you do it. Even though you could be doing more, but that's not your requirement, at least not yet. Until it comes time for you to graduate in him. Oh, yeah. So an eighth grader can't look at the third grader and say, you ain't cool. Yeah. They'll misjudge that whole situation. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? <clears throat> so being saved is you know in, in Matty Yahoo Matthew 5 it said the pure in heart don't see him right what does that mean they're sincere they're not trying to get up they not they not they not they not they not trying to justify sin when he revealed to them that is wrong then they're responsible for, for stop doing that. Or something is right to do, when he revealed that to them, it, it's time for them to start doing it. Say they refuse to do it. That's when their growth stop. If you cover your sins, you're not going to prosper. But he that confess and forsakes shall have mercy. You got to be honest when you're not living up to his expectation, not man's expectation, to his. He has expectations. And it's based on revelation that he give. He'll give it to you. So we be pulling grace from places that it ain't no grace for you in that area. Y'all listening? Jude talking about folks turning the grace of the Most High into lasciviousness, right? Meaning that they're, they're using it illegally. They're really painting a different picture of it. They talk about grace, like, <clears throat> you know how the Bible in, in Hebrews 10, 20, uh, what is it, 6, say we willfully sin after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there remained no more sacrifice for sin, right? You know better, but you refuse to do better. And then when you don't do better, you like to say, oh, his grace. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. His grace is giving you the ability <clears throat> to do what he told you to do based on his revelation to you personally. <clears throat> It's not for you to willfully sin and then want to holler grace. And then that's a misinterpretation of grace anyway, because grace really is the unearnable ability to live this life that your carnal mind couldn't do in the first place. Are y'all with me? We, we like to call grace by mercy's definition. Grace got its own definition. It's the unearnable ability to live right. Because in our carnal nature, we can't. So that people get that part twisted because you're right. We can't, but we can through him. So when we do, it's not in and of ourselves. It's because the power of his Ruah. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. huh. So listen, I'm trying to build this because I'm trying to show you this. That the purity that I'm talking about, the grace that I'm talking about, the misunderstanding, misconception of what true holiness is all about. That misconception, I'm trying to clear it up so we can dive into what I just read. 
But the key to doing this, what I just read, is your sincerity towards him. Because our goal as an individual, we're here together corporately, but as an individual, our goal is to walk up right before him. That's what it should be. And that's when the real salvation begins. Scoot over a little bit, man, because I just like to deceive you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at that nice hairdo. It's so nice, too. <clears throat> no, he don't have one. He don't have hairdo. No. So, listen. <laughs> listen. Oh, yeah, I can keep going, but I'll stop right there. I, I, I'm going to get back into this. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick this up later. <laughs> Listen. Let, 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 me, let, let, me, let me read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's focus. <laughs> Look what it say. 22, y'all. 1 and 22. But be ye doers of the word. That's the goal. Are y'all with me? Do you know what? What we do in this real talk, we become religious and our plan isn't on the level it should be to do what he say. We do life. Right? We're really just trying to do our life. And we live our life based on carnal circumstances and we respond carnally. And then we're grace-minded with the wrong definition of grace. So we just do whatever heck we want to do. And we fit his word in on, on edgewise a little bit. Ain't that true though? That's why, that's why wide is the road to lead to destruction. Oh, it's the truth. Straight and narrow, there's a straight and narrow path of some people that made up their mind that for y'all live and for y'all die, but they really mean that though. And their life don't dictate their actions. His word does. So no matter what life does, won't stop them from obeying him. I'm just telling you what's real. Then other people that don't do nothing he say, talk to them. They're going to tell you all the excuses of why they don't. Because they really doing life. Carnal life. And they really not led by a spirit. Can I talk to you today? Come on, talk. It says, be ye doers of the word. Okay, so that's a commandment. And we, we understand that, right? And not hearers only. We get into ritualistic practices of listening to the word, congregating. But how much of the congregating, the word that go, went forth, how much of the reading and the meditating in his word leave with you on the day-to-day -day operations of life? Come on. We think the good part is that we heard. <laughs> oh, did you go to service? Yeah, I went to service. You didn't go to service? Oh, I'm going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. But how much of what you heard you do? Y'all with me? Be doers of the word and not hearers only. What did it say? Deceiving your own selves. Who, who, who? <laughs> deceiving your, deceive, who? You are deceived, but who did it? Yourself. You did that. You convinced yourself that you got a reason not to do what he say because you're not in this kingdom on that level. You're doing life. You're doing you. You doing I would have did this, but they said this, they did this. Or, well, what about this? That's that's people. <laughs> Just worry about you. Don't tell me what the words say. You you because you, you're doing life. Are y'all with me? Come on. We take it on circumstances. Well, I'm living based on circumstance. How many of us living according to the word? And not circumstances. Listen. Twin third verse. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, now he's going to break it down. If there's anyone that's listened to the word, how long? Ten years? Five years? Two years? One year? What, 30 years? 40 years? <clears throat> Folks listen to the word. But you can see if they follow it, if they if they obey it. Are y'all with me? How is it affecting your life? Are you living by it? 
I heard I heard the man of Yah say, "Thy word have I hid in my heart." Right? Thy word have I hid in my heart. Why you do it? Why Why do you do it? Well, so 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 he won't sin. Did you know there's demographic people that hide the word in their heart so they can get into the re religious debates? <laughs> you got people that hide the word in their heart. Then you got some studiers. What 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 the Greeks seek after knowledge? Ju you, Judah wanted a sign. I think in the Greeks like knowledge. But you got folks that's in the word, in his presence, for ulterior motives. I'm talking about motives today, real talk. It's when we approach him, do we realize that this place is a hell hole? It's the valley of the shadow of death. And did you know he's calling the believers out? Did you know that there's massive deception everywhere? I'm looking at how deceived people is, and I'm looking at where they get their sources of information. And they get their they, they sources of information from, like, news reporters and, mm -hmm. and, and podcast folk and YouTube, CNN and NBC and Fox, Fauci and, 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 and Biden and them. And everyone got their pics of men and women that they get their information from. But high percentile in the 90s of the, their sources of information is all fictitious and false. Different forms of lies sprinkled with a little bit of truth, but it's causing a deception that the Most High is allowing because the wickedness of people. You notice how Corinthians breaks it down and it talks about... Um, <clears throat> How through knowledge, the princes and the powers of this air don't know him. And then in Corinthians, it talked about the comparison analysis of the wisdom of this world comp compared to the most highs. Right? Like it ain't even no contest. It's just futile. Right? And so, but people are under the influence of this foolishness. And to anyone that the scales fell from your eyes like he had the scales fall from Shaul, they call him Paul, Paul's eyes, when Ananias came down and laid hands on him because he had a religious blindness. There's, there's, there's a religious blindness that have you stuck under scales. You really can't see. There's also social, social blindness from the world. And they lying politicians and they lying doctors and they lying. It's just all of, it's just all different levels, different forms of a lie. And when you don't love the most high appropriately, he said, he'll send you a strong delusion that you'll believe a lie. When you don't love the truth, he said, he said, he told you why he'll do it. He'll let the lie have you and you get caught up in this mess that's going on. You'll get caught up in it because you don't do what he say anyway. Oh, don't give me, I ain't gonna get too deep on that part. But he did tell us uh, in, 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 in Matthew, Matthew 7, give not that which is holding the dogs, neither cast that pearl before swine, because they're gonna hate you for it. Then he proved that he do the same thing. I'm not, get, I'm talking parables on purpose, so you don't get it. Why? Because you ain't cool. You don't want it anyway. You're not gonna deny yourself. So I'm not gonna waste my time talking to you. You gotta have a, a certain level, you got you to gotta have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. And he said, that's the joker that's going to be filled when you really want it. That's what this is talking about. Because what will cause, what will separate a person from being a hearer to a doer is because you want it. That's it. That's the divider right there. All them people in the classroom, one of them kids go off to college. Because they wanted it. One of them kids' report card reflected that they wanted it. Why everybody was spitting spitballs, wouldn't stay in their seats, sit down, getting high in the classroom, fight broke out, flirting, twerking, doing everything in the classroom. You had someone, no matter what, how much chaos was in that classroom, you had some child sitting there with a state of mind. Can I sit in the corner? No, I don't want to sit by the. I don't. Want, I move my seat. Move my seat. Oh, you a sucker! Fine, move my seat, please. Cause you got some people that really want it. 
It, not everyone in here is just doing church. In that time, I used that term on purpose. You got some people that really want it. And those are the ones that no matter what you do, they won't obey him. They don't care what everybody else doing. And if everybody else doing stuff, they're going to pray for them. they still going to exemplify what the words say, love. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. 20, 23rd verse says, and if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he want to break it down. This is what's going on. Peak game, look. He is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Y'all know the glass is a mirror, right? When you dive into the word as a child of the most high, you belong to him. You, you gave, you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart, right? You, 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 um, you chose him as master of your life, right? So when you look in the mirror of the word, you're actually looking at a mirror because what's forming you, you're being transformed by the renewing of your mind. What's renewing your mind is the word. So you're looking at your new character. Real talk. Your old character has been baptized into his death. You're supposed to rise up to walk in the newness of life. So you're literally looking in the mirror of the word of your new conduct and your new character. And when you walk in it with the desire to do it, he meets you in there. And you're going through a spiritual makeover. Oh, that's the truth anyhow. Literally, when you're reading, you're like, oh, wow. Oh, and he's talking to you and he's giving you revelation and he's showing you the new you. You've been born again. Now he's re-raising you in the Ruah, in the spirit. Are y'all with me? Yeah, you in there. You read different than somebody else. You also see different than other folks. You also come out different. I'm telling you something. When you're literally reading because you're going to do it. Because you got folks who just read for head knowledge. But they don't leave reading different. They leave religious. You know what I mean? <clears throat> for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself. Notice that. That's you. You found yourself in the word. You found yourself. The new you. The patient person. The forgiving person. The loving person. The one that don't render evil for evil, but overcomes evil with good. You're a giver. You're a forgiver. You're faithful. You show up. He's revealing to you, you, all the way down to your personal call. See, we have expectation for all things to work together for our good. But it said all things work together for the good of them that love him that's called according to his purpose. So the new you is buried in scripture. You dive into the scripture, hide it in your heart, it's transforming you, and you also get your assignment. Folks don't want no assignment if they don't work there. I don't work here. You walking by McDonald's, they run outside and say sweep the parking lot. You're like, I don't work here. Who's you talking to? Me as a watchman, I've told people, grab, grab, grab a mop and mop. Say, well, who is you talking to? I don't mop <laughs> here. It ain't that I don't mop. I just don't mop here. I didn't approach folks. It said give. They look at me like you crazy. Who is you talking to? <clears throat> it ain't that I don't give. I just don't give here. <laughs> you sure like the food here or something, don't you? <laughs> You eat here. <laughs> Let them tell. I, 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 I dine and dash on mine. Oh, yeah. Who was you talking to? Is y'all with me? Who you are, the transformation is in the word. Period. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So 
this is insinuating that the word disclosed who you is in him, gave you assignment and everything. You got people running around here, been with him for years, and still say, I don't know what my call is. Because you don't want to know. You don't. If you don't know what your call is and you've been around him for years, you don't want to know. Is that fair to say? He said, when you get into the word, you're looking in the mirror. I just read that. And you're beholding yourself. I just read that. Then, then the problem became is when you left the presence of the word, you left and forgot what he revealed to you concerning you and your life. Oh, it's the truth. When I was coming up, I ended up, I ended up being. Shayla, good to see you on. I ended up being. It's not like nobody came to me and told me. It just happened. And I noticed I was doing stuff. I was doing. I nobody was prompting me. I was doing it. I was listening to the word and I just started doing it. And then people was able to add an ER to what I do. I was a do word, ER. I was doing, and then the ER came, and so I'm a do. And then people say, oh, you're a, because I was doing it. <clears throat> Is y'all with me? I was doing stuff that I'd imagine I'd do. There was, it wasn't, I, I, I started doing it. And then I noticed I was doing it like every day. Did nobody put me on a witnessing team? I just start witnessing. Then my ER came, I'm a witnesser. Oh, that's the truth. I noticed myself, I became, I start giving. The ER came, I was a giver. I wasn't offended with that. That's just what I did. When there was service, I was there. All of them. <laughs> it just happened. What the plot? I wanted him. I'm trying to tell you something. Because some people approach the word with a state of mind of, I'm going to do what I read. How many of us do that? You sitting there. You, 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 somebody sleep next to you. You sitting there. You sitting up in bed. Your glasses on. You reading the Bible. And you. Uh oh. Tyrone. Tyrone. I just read. Tyrone. Look like you better put your clothes on. You got to go. <laughs> I did not know that. Did you, did you know we came in for an occasion? Yeah, it's right here. Girl, you trip. Get your clothes. Put your clothes on while you tell me I'm tripping. Did you know this? Yeah, I knew this. I was my dad. My daddy was a pastor. I told. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't know, but now I do. Listen, for he, 24 verse, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, but he beholdeth himself. You saw yourself in Yah. That's who you saw. His expectation, your creator. You met him on the other side of your carnal nature. You, you, you met him on the other side of your bad habits and how you was living. You met him because he revealed to who you are, not who you should be. If you belong to him, he's showing you who you really are. And we get in there and we forget. Come on, talk to me. Why we forget? Because we want to do something else. We ain't got amnesia. It ain't like you got hit in the head. 
we willingly forget. Y'all heard that term, selective amnesia? Y'all ever heard that before? <clears throat> Y'all with me? For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Right? Look what he said though. But whosoever look into the perfect law of liberty, look at this. The perfect law of liberty, liberty, freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from what? The law of liberty. Liberty has a law. Liberty has a law. The perfect law of liberty, the freedom that the word bring. I'm telling you, you're free from you, your wickedness. Your sinful nature, your agenda just got destroyed by the law of liberty because liberty has a law. Straight up. The law of liberty is the word if y'all didn't know. You want to be freed? Folks go, go on to rehabs and all that. I ain't mad at you, but the freedom is in y'all. If you want true freedom, because whom he set free is free indeed. You, you, you want liberty from lust and anger and drugs and being unfaithful, run around here like you don't have a purpose in y'all? Did, did, you, did you know how powerful it would be if you walked in your purpose? Do you know what a difference it would make? But when you're not free from people, things are not happening because you're waiting on other people to do it. When he revealed it to you so you can do it. And had you been reading, he told you that. He revealed that to you because you're supposed to do it. And if you wanted to do it, you know that. But since he be telling us stuff we don't want to do, we want to try to look for who was supposed to be doing it. <laughs> I know somebody in here supposed to be doing this. Because I'm too worldly and I'm busy. I got a life to live. You looking for somebody that ain't got as much responsibility as you are. When he revealed it to you. And since you don't want that responsibility, you forgot that he revealed it to you. Lucia Satan. I ain't finna do that. Can we talk? For a minute. 24, y'all. For he beholdeth himself, himself, y'all, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. The revelation that y'all told you who you are and what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be living. But whosoever look, come on to whosoever. Who's the whosoever here? But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, you free from that. You free from amnesia, selective amnesia. And continue if therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, of the work, of the work. There's a work to be, it didn't say work. It said work. It said you was looking in the word and you found some work. Let's work. Boom, boom. Anyway. They don't know that? Yeah, we old school. <laughs> She's smirking like that. That's before my time. She probably, you didn't even know her. <laughs> That's good. You don't need it. <laughs> like, what's wrong with him? What's wrong? I know it had to be a hit. Yeah, it was a hit. <laughs> But whosoever looketh in the perfect law of liberty and continues therein. You looked in it because you wanted it. How did you approach the word? It's, to be honest with you, your life will change the moment you approach the word the appropriate way. I'm talking about the moment you do it. It ain't even a wait and see. It's faster than instant oatmeal. And that deadly garbage... <laughs> Gets done fast. <laughs> it's already cooked, but you go on eat there. <laughs> Got a little anyway. <laughs> I ain't going there. I ain't talking about the oatmeal right now. The instant fake oatmeal. Listen, 
But whosoever looking into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Did y'all hear that? That's a promise. What is his deeds? The work. Y'all see that? Should be blessed in his deed. What do you think he changed the subject? Now we get worldly on deeds, right? Now we're thinking of getting a house and a car and a successful business. No. The deeds is the work. Where the work come from? The word. When you went into the word with the state of mind to do what you're reading, then arguments become one-sided. You argue with somebody, you know somebody you argue with, it become one-sided when you get in the word. That is if you got in the word to do what he said. People be reading wrong. It's very rare that somebody read the word with the state of mind I'm finna do what I'm reading. Somebody read a scripture about not getting drunk and then as soon as they finish, they say, ah, go straight get their bottle. Real talk. After they read it. I'm talking about literally. That ain't even hypothetically speaking. That's a person who read the word and literally, as soon as they close the book, they go do exactly the opposite of what they just, I'm talking about literally. As a lifestyle. I'm not talking about an incident. What you doing? Oh, man, I've been reading. Good. Now do it. How'd that sound? You been reading? Man, you ain't going to do nothing without knowing his word, getting his word. So that's that's the first move. But, but, but are you hiding it in your heart that you might not sin against him? What's your motive for reading? Started in Matayahu, you read the, the synoptic you know, gospels, you walking with him. You know, it's good if you walking with him saying, I'm going to be just like that. That's me. That's me. I see that. Close the book and go do exactly what he did. I don't know if us do that. Or do we read and then forget? That's what he said. You're looking at your makeover, your new ruah, your new spirit, your new attitude. That's all. That's, that's what's in there. It's the only thing in there. For his children, the secret. Bible say the secret of the Most High is with the with the righteous. It's a secret. Ten people read. I mean, y'all remember? I just said it again. I'm gonna say it again. I just said it the other day. I'm gonna say it again. Ten lepers calling out for him. He said, I tell you what, y'all go to the priest and do the ceremonial washings. They said, okay. When they went, they started being healed. While they was on their way, he was taking the, the power out of ceremonial laws. He was taking the power out of them. He said, go do it. They was on their way to do it, but the, clean, the, clean, the cleansing was in the obedience to the word. <laughs> go do it. That's where the cleaning was. That's where they got clean. But the cold part about it is when the guy noticed out of the 10, one noticed that he got cleansed. All of them, of course, noticed it. But one stopped when he noticed. Turned around and came back. Because you got folks that come to him with the motive of improving naturally and physically in this world. That's the truth. You got folks that mess with him, but their main objective is to be successful in this natural life. And that's the truth. And as soon as they get that, they gone. Because them jokers did it pushing. They didn't come back. Only one came back. And for me even to go further, the guy that came back was a Samaritan. It wasn't even Yasharel. <laughs> to be honest with you. getting into the physical part of it. This place all oh, the physical part. Don't get it twisted, but that's Yah's business. He's going to deal with it. At the end of the day, how's your ruah, your spirit? Come on, y'all. If you read different, you're going you're gonna to end up different. It's all in our motive. 
Am I reading, studying, and communing, congregating, so I can go through the transformation and be like him? Or, or am I going to continue to read and forget who I really am in him? That's the key. Time out for reading and forgetting. Remember. There's time to remember. Who you are in him. Your life will change. And it definitely will change the people around you. Those that stay around you going to change. And those that won't, it's going to change the people around you because they ain't going to be around you no more. But don't you dare forget who you really are. I'm going to go, y'all, but Mashiach had a, a, a complaint, right? He said, if you're ashamed of me before men in this perverse and crooked nation, I won't be ashamed of you before my father. Mm. Remember who you are and be proud about it. <coughs> Don't shrink back and shy away trying to fit in in Satan's den. Mm. Mm -mm. You don't belong there. Come on out from among them and be separate. Cut it out. Quit trying to fit in. He's calling you out <coughs> to save you. He's going to destroy that. You're trying to fit in to what he's going to destroy. He's about to destroy that. And you're trying to fit in? You better come out. And do it now. He didn't have an ear to hear. What the rule I saying to the cliche, sis, good to see you on. I plan to call you later. He said. But y'all with me? This wasn't a long message. I can keep you all day. I heard there's good money in keeping people all day though. I heard some camps is making a gang of dough. Be on there all them hours and boy that money rolling in. Mm -hmm. I ain't into that. Just do the word you heard. That's it. Go read. And what you read, let it succeed in your life. All right? All right. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humble know how gleaning the truth of your word. That word is true. Continue to illuminate us, quick us, make us alive. It's in our attitude. We've got revelation that we should approach your word with enthusiasm to do, hungering and thirsting after righteousness. You promised you'd fill us. Fill us up that we want no more. Give us all we need so we can succeed in you. And we'll be careful for you to praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. And Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was a lesson. I pray it was a blessing and that we all got something out of it. Nicole Robson, good to see you. Always a pleasure, Barbara. You're more than welcome. Um, young lady, Kita, good to see y'all. Pray you were brutal. Pray you were all brutal. Don't forget to rest, y'all. Rest from this man. Kind of try to rest from some of that religious stuff, too. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. A cold reader B. You hung in there with me. You hung in there with me from start to finish. Bless you. And I pray. I pray you were brutal, too. Love you. And we miss you. Everybody asks about you all the time. You are just a gem. Hallelujah. And we love it. Okay, y'all. Um, we finna slide over to the uh conference line, those of you that want to do that. And then we're gonna get out of here and uh get to work. <laughs> get to work in him. Is that all right? 
Facebook Live. It was live. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.